The future of work is changing with breakneck speed, fed by and paralleling advances in technology. Those advances are forcing us to adapt and change not only how we do our work, but how we frame work for the 21st century. I see three trends affecting the future of work. First, the 20th century concept of work-life balance has given way to whole life integration. As the boundaries between work and the rest of life continue to blur, a more holistic approach is required. Living the divided lives of personal and professional no longer seems doable, or even desirable for that matter. Whole life integration takes the benefits of our tech revolution and applies it to the entirety of all our lives, bringing health and productivity to every domain. Second, we are quickly becoming a nation of independent consultants. From perks to paycheck, you are in complete control of your whole career, full stop. This is both a blessing and a curse as employees wake up to the realization that competencies once within the purview of only HR are now in their court. Things like training, benefit stewardship, and even wage management are now subjects in which we all need to be fluent. The blessings? Well, see trend three. Third, the playing field has been leveled. Everyone has access to the same data, from freelancer to Fortune 500. There's no stopping anybody who wants to jump in, disrupt, and change the way we do, well, pretty much anything. Think Uber, Snapchat, and Airbnb. And I'm just picking the ones that we all know. There are hundreds of others currently disrupting their own niches. We'll probably read about them tomorrow. Creativity is the new currency here, and your only limiter. Now, there are more trends shaping the future of work, to be sure. But from a 30,000 foot level, these three still need to be reckoned with. I'm Paul Pichot with Whole Worker. Thanks for watching.